city skylines. So, since you've been gone, I hit a milestone. I opened up Busy Town. It's opened up some level 4 unique buildings and leisure and tourism unique buildings. We'll go take a look at them in a second. I also opened up oil industry specialization, uh, free public transport, and heavy traffic ban. I don't know if I'm going to use free public transport yet. Um, some beautiful roads. Basically what happens is, is you can put on trees or grass, which pretty up the place and lower noise pollution, but you lose parking. I don't know how much effect that has. Above them, the hospital, the police station, police headquarters, and the fire station. These are basically upgrades to our medical facility, police, and fire truck place. And an oil power plant, which is a form of energy production that basically just isn't worth the price per megawatt. Now, uh, do, 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 do. in our unique buildings, let's see here. We've got our department store available, which is 150 grand. If you'll notice down at the bottom, I'm up to 187. I just kind of chilled out. Um, just manipulated a few things, cleaned up a few items. Uh, we've opened up the Opera House. Uh, visitor capacity 300. People near and far come to enjoy the wonderful music played. Uh, cost 135,000. Requirement for making the space elevator. That looks like it for what we've opened up there. Now, I'm not quite sure. It says I've opened up leisure buildings. I'm not, uh, leisure uniques. These are all the unique buildings. I guess it's these. Uh, no, because level four was what we opened up. It may have been some of these. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what extra we opened here. Uh, still can't build my football stadium. That's still a little expensive. Not sure I want to yet anyway. I have a serious demand problem for residential right now. Uh, I'm going to build off a residential zone here in the near future. So I'll bring you back in for that one. And I'm thinking of building out a commercial, a heavy commercial district down in here that I'll just expand up as we go. One thing I did do while you were gone was I adjusted the bus lines and this seems to have worked a lot better because we're ha that jam up of buses up here was becoming a real problem. So I took the yellow and the red lines and I brought them back um, just around the corner back this way for people to wait for them. And having the two bus lines split off from the other two bus lines seems to have removed a lot of the traffic jam we were getting with all the buses trying to get into one spot. I've also extended the red and yellow lines down here, so they're getting more activity as well. That basically catches you up on everything I've needed to do so far. Um, our industry is dying off. We just don't have enough uneducated people. At some point, I'm going to have to make an education slum in housing to go deal with that. Not quite sure how I want to do that yet, but at some point that'll be necessary. In the world of natural resources, on the edge of our territory down here, we can get at oil. Uh, so now that we've opened up oil processing, this might be worth going down to. Uh, we'll have to. I'll have to think about that and decide whether that's got some worthiness or not. Uh, I also could open up some forestry. Uh, no, not there. Uh, I guess I'd have to do it here if I did it anywhere. Not really worth it. Um, some here, maybe? I'd like a darker green. Uh, let's see here. See, just because there's trees doesn't mean it's a forestry industry area. You need that green land on the ground. Um, available is 35 288 a week. That's basically down in here. So unless I remove this residential area and put in industry through there, it's not really worth it. Um, let's see here. Or at least that's my understanding of how it works. I could be wrong, but as far as I know, it's got to be like that for forestry, not just trees. Um, there is some forestry options down here, I guess, as well. So that has some possibility. However, I'm thinking of using this area for my little residential zone I'm going to build up. So let's get to that. Let's start with some basics. Put in our artery. Gonna make it a six lane road. Okay, um, not so shabby. 
that's our off ramps. Now we've got to get our on ramps. Way on and away. You know what? I don't know if all this is necessary. One way on, one way off. They just come back across on this. Yeah, let, let's clean this mess up. It looks looked like an interesting idea, but I don't think it's really worthy. More necessary. Seemed like an interesting idea, but just way too much to try and get that to work. So now we're going to start building out our residential areas up here. Now, I do want to create a small commercial district down in here, off the main drag. And I'm going to want to not create as many intersections as I have been creating. So we're going to place this kind of deep up here. Uh, let's make the road straight. Thank you. Let's go four boxes deep. And then what we'll do is we'll create small offshoots this way. So if I want four, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'm trying something. I don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, we'll clean up the edge of this road in a second. Two, four, six. We'll bring this in towards this and dead end it. Like so. Two, four, six. Okay. Now that should cut down on our uh, main drag traffic, cutting down on our number of intersections, I hope, down this way. Now we are going to have to run water and power over here, things like that, so no big deal on that. We just got to remember to do it. That'll be our, com that'll be our small commercial district. Uh, we'll expand it. Oh no, I'm going to create a housing district up here. So let's, I don't know. I need an easy way to see number of grids. That's six, that's eight. Okay, so uh, line to line is 10 of them. So if I just eyeball this, that's 10, that's 20. Let me see. 10, 20, 30, 20. So that would be 30 is about up here. Extend our six lane road. Um, actually, let's upgrade our six lane road and quiet things down for our residential area. Now we'll extend it a little bit more. Yeah, let's start it around here, I suppose. Okay, so now my objective is to put a feeder road about dead center of that. So, let's say right about there. Bring it down to here. We'll run it over. Oh, need a little. Okay, I'm gonna run it a little too deep. I can figure out. Whoop, oh, stop. Okay, that'll fill that nicely. And I think that'll do it for now. That should be a nice little residential grid we've got going. We're going to want fire and stuff like that, so we'll need to create a small um, service area. All right, so let's get that in play. Let's get a. Okay, so one of the things I did notice. So if you'll notice, the medical clinic only gets down to about the split in our new residential area. The hospital gets a whole lot deeper. It's got a lot further coverage. Just something to keep in mind for the upgraded buildings. Now, the value of them, this is 2,400 per week to upkeep. This is 400 per week to upkeep. So while the initial cost is 65 grand and the initial cost here is 10 grand, this can handle up to 100 patients. This can handle up to 500 patients. So you're not getting value um, on the bigger buildings directly. 
it's going to usually be better off to build two, two of these instead of one. Now, for medical, we could actually just put this down here near the residential area and be okay with that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to put a medical building in there. They'll be able to take care of any of our um, old folk. And when I build up the other residential areas, they'll also pick that up. Now, fire. Fire is a bigger deal. Fire's got to get to more places. I'm just trying to, trying to get everybody just barely green here. Okay, that should work out. And we're going to put in a police station, probably right next to it, just to take care of things. There we go. Okay, now I have to decide if I want this to be an education slum or not. I'm not going to educate people over here for the moment. We'll just ignore that idea. I'm leaving this area open for a tram area so that I can go play with uh, trams. Uh, tram line, not tram lines. Tram lines I don't have. I don't have the DLC for that. Metro. I'm trying to leave that open for the metro when I get it. And I'm going to run that into where I build this uh, commercial district over here. Which is why I'm not building that unique building. I want to leave that for my bigger commercial district over here, I guess, in downtown. Over by Dean Hills. Uh, we are going to district this area because why not? Yeah, that should cover it for the moment. Uh, what did it get called? Fairview Square. Sure, that sounds good. Got a pretty nice view out here. Okay, next batter. We need to get electric to this location. Now, we could either build out some more um, wind turbines. There's a nice hill right over here on the very edge of the world. And link that in. Or I can link them into my main power grid. I'd like to keep my power grid pretty whole if I can. What I'm going to try and do, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try and run power lines in between my um, highway. the street here near where we're going to build commercial and I'll expand that and I guess I'll just run it up here as well near where we're going to build out uh, residential okay so that's power um, I want marquee zoning I'm going to zone housing four deep And we'll put some light commercial along the road roadway here. Um, I want to kind of level off this hill a bit. Okay, that should help. Now, before we get too deep into this, I also want to put in some walking paths. And the idea here is I'm going to want my people to not have to go around the world be able to get to other places. So I'm gonna just kind of hook the hook the neighborhoods up. The main road here. And if I really want to get fancy, I can try and get them over this intersection, and I think I'm gonna do that. So what we're gonna do, um, since these can be connected here without issue, and these guys can walk along that. Now, we're gonna take this, uh, we're gonna drag it out a bit, we're gonna go page up. We can go over the road, actually. Yeah, okay, one up. It's too shallow. I put it here. No, alright, there. You're not gonna let me put it exactly where I want you. Alright. And what we're gonna do. There we go. Just connect them in. And as long as I connect this this now what I've done is I've basically given them walking paths from these this neighborhood 
down to this street, up along here, and into what I'm going to build out as the commercial district. And that should save me a lot of trouble with intersections and, the th and things of that nature. I think I'm tempted to do it again over here. Um, I don't know if I want to dig into this territory too much. Well, you know what? If I just go like this, do a page up real fast. And then I just... Come on. Then I just link it in. There we go. Um, yeah, that pretty much ruined the zoning underneath it. I was hoping I'd be able to zone underneath that, but no, I won't. But that's okay. That'll let people get down that way without clogging the streets too badly. Uh, okay. Now, uh, I also want a few up here off the dead ends up here. Now, I should probably put a park in, or at least think about it. If I wanted to put in a nice park, let's see here. Now the problem, I wish I knew how much happiness these things would bring. I'm kind of going by visitor capacity, and that's not true. Because they're all pretty much 150, as far as I can tell. Okay, the Botanical Garden's 225. But this, this one has a really wide radius. That, that could be a really good one to put in. I'm thinking we put that in over here. Uh, let me see, can I fit it south of the road? I can. Just barely. That should lock lock in there, yeah, okay. And if I do lock it in there, it gets most of the neighborhood. And then it'll get the western neighborhood as well, so we'll put that in. Just to make it nicer. And finally, we're going to do some zoning. Um, I'd like to zone down here first, I think. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, right click is a clear, so you don't actually have to go to D zone if you don't want to. Uh, we'll fill in these blocks first. Yeah, we'll see where that gets us. Uh, we've got power coming in. What we need is water. Uh, we don't have any water pipes running all the way over here. Let's take care of that. Okay, that should get us power, water, some more residential, and an interesting little zone. I uh, might as well water up this too, I guess. I'm thinking of it. Well, I'm thinking about power. I'm at 80 of 102. Let's bring a couple of more wind turbines online all right that should help okay let's see what happens yeah we've already got a couple of commercial shops going up Now, in theory, any of my commuters who are working in here in the industrial zone will be able to just hop on the highway, hop off the highway, and go to work. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping. Also, by keeping the commercial right here on the main uh, drag, or off down here, hopefully I won't get too many trucks screwing everybody up in the background. Okay, we're getting a lot of housing going up. Excellent. All right, let's take a look at power. Okay, that's looking good. Water solid, we already knew that. So we've ran our power to where we need it. Solid. Okay. I think I'm going to need a lot more housing. So, let's get housing in play here. And through here. We'll also run it through here and there. That should be plenty for commercial. For the moment, anyway. All right, so now I've just got to wait for these houses to build up. I'll just be filling this in and getting my RCI under control. Not too shabby. Cost me, I guess, let me see, what did I start off at? 187? So about 130 grand to build up a completely new neighborhood way off in the middle of nowhere. That's not horrible. That's including services and everything else. Oh, um, garbage. 
Okay, they're covered for garbage. Cool. Uh, that was a concern. Education, they don't get any. You'd be my dumb folk. One of the neat things I, I found you can do is just kind of zoom in and wander up and oh my god, these guys have a sweet tooth. That is a lot of ice cream parlors. That is some serious sweet tooth these guys have. Oh, that's a general store. That's what that is. Okay. Still, that's kind of funny. All right. So, we've taken a good chunk out of our RCI, or out of our residential requirements. Commercial is still building up, but I've got plenty zoned for it. They don't really need me to zone them anymore until this starts to fill in more. Out of curiosity, our land value out here is not horrible. I mean, we're, we're hitting high greens down here on the waterfront, which is really nice. But over here in Fairview, not too shabby. So while I'm thinking of it, let's go take a look at some policies that we can play. For example, in city planning, I have a heavy traffic ban. You can ban heavy traffic in an area. Here's the thing. Make sure you don't do it against your business districts or your industrials. You, it's really a residential thing. Um, it won't affect your highways, but you need to be able to make sure your businesses can receive deliveries. I don't believe I opened up anything else of interest for policies. I did not. Let's see, how's water looking for availability? That's good. I've got tons of power now. I don't got really got to worry about power for ages. That's nice. Uh, let's take a look at my budget. I haven't seen, looked at my budget in ages. So my power budget right now is 1600 My water is uh, $1,250 uh, per week. Not, eh, it's high, but not horrible. Fire is also at $1,600, so that's ma almost matching my power costs. Um, medical is almost matching water. Police isn't too bad at $960. Uh, education's cost me $880. Parks are pretty cheap at $384. My bus lines are still just costing me 721 bucks, so that's not horrible. Uh, my loans were my loans got all repaid a while ago, so I stopped worrying about them. Uh, my policies are costing me five grand for the power policy per week. So that po this power policy of 1596 is actually six grand. Out of curiosity, I'm going to shut off the power usage policy and see where power spikes to. Okay, so far it spiked up to 104 of 141, 105. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back and take a look at that in a minute. And meanwhile, if I go to my budget, that is dropping like a brick, thankfully. But if I start getting brownouts, that'll be why. So you kinda have to balance whether that policy is really worth it to you when you finally have enough money to catch up on your power costs. In theory, you would have built a coal power plant by now. I don't want to if I can avoid it. I'd like to try and get the solar. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'd like to try. All right, we've balanced off RCI a good amount. Uh, looks like commercial's starting to build back up a bit more. Let's see if I can find any of my pedestrians. Okay, so they're taking their walking path back and forth. That's cool. Uh, doesn't look like I've got too many pedestrians doing their thing yet. Uh, I think I still got people moving in is why. Let's build up some more commercial. Build it there. This way I've got plenty sitting there. We're just waiting to go. There we go. All right, that'll be plenty. So not too shabby. Fairview Square is looking at, is building up kind of nice. Uh, have we stopped complaining about not enough workers down this way? Oh, well, actually. All right, so how did power end up going? Power has leveled off right now at about 107. Uh, my policies is gone. So it's at 107 of my 141. So that should get me a nice chunk of change. Yeah, I just gone up to 10 grand a week. So that should help out my funding levels considerably and let me build a lot faster. Okay, um, residential is climbing through the roof again. Let's keep expanding out here. I've got 600 children and 1,200 teens. Oh, that's telling me that my education probably isn't supporting what it needs to. Uh, yeah, my high school is not um, educating enough people. 
like in any way. That's uh, probably going to need to be expanded at some point. My elementaries are barely keeping up with the requirements for my children. I obviously have no universities yet. So we're just gonna take a quick look, browse through my info panels. Uh, medical's looking all right. Um, should probably, oh wait, yeah, I need to look at death care. Yeah, I've got a problem with death care way down here. And we're gonna start getting people dying. Um, you want educated workers, so you'll find some. So I probably should get a cemetery in down here somewhere. Uh, let's see, where's a good place for a cemetery? Let's take a look at crappy, ooh, excuse me, bad land value. That'd be up here. Um, so let's go to medical cemeteries. Uh, we'll knock out some houses, I think. Uh, maybe this would be better. And that looks like it's going to get me better coverage of the coastal line. Let's see. I'm trying to watch in the upper left corner here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Up over here is where I'm trying to watch to see when it just starts to fade. So that's gray. That's got just a little bit of green. Okay. The cemetery in play. That'll take care of that. Uh, once they go operational, this will fill in. So that'll get uh, death care dealt with. Health care is looking pretty solid. Uh, do I have death care over here? I do not. Hmm. Uh, how much are cemeteries? 160 a week? That's not bad. Uh, where can I put you in? That's not problematic. Slope is too steep there. Okay. Not too steep here. Probably better off sticking it up here. Alright, let's... Play with terrain, I suppose. Let's see if I can make a... Oh, no, because I don't know if it'll work for the roadside. Yeah, that may not work out. Okay, so let's not try and do that. Um, you know what? I'll worry about the cemetery once we start um, actually having a problem out here. Because I don't have anybody requesting help for death care at the moment, so we're okay. I don't got anybody in the red. Uh, yes, I'm going to talk to myself a lot. It's kind of the only way to make this interesting while I'm just browsing through stuff. Uh, how's my traffic pattern? Traffic pattern out here looks lovely. Just absolutely lovely. That's excellent. I'm glad to see that. We are getting a lot of traffic coming in right here, though. I suppose that's all right. That's a nice long line for them to be able to stack up on. We'll keep an eye out on that, though. Uh, pollution looks all right. That This landfill is just messy. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you the pollution going into the water. Look how bad this is getting down here. Just off two pumps. That's just miserable down there. I feel bad for anybody who's trying to create a fishing industry. Uh, noise pollution is not too shabby. Uh, the trees look like they're really cleaning it up. That's excellent. I'm thinking I may line this street with some trees as well. Just up the value of things a bit. Actually, while I'm thinking of that, why don't we do that? So let's come in here. We're going to do some upgrade. Um, I want to upgrade with this. Now you're acting like I'm going to bulldoze something. And why is that? Okay. Okay, now you're behaving. Well, if it nullifies it a little bit, that will help. So my average noise pollution is pretty low at 28%. That's nice to see. Fire. Yes, this area is not good for fire. I've got one fire station way back here. How are we looking for fire there? Fire there is fine. Okay, so... Down here at the edge of this region, my fire is bad. Also up here in the corner. Now, if I switch fire, let's see, fire station. Um, the fire station's 1440 a week. 
Um, has 25 fire engines. My firehouse is 560 a week with six fire engines. So 560 to 1440. So about three times the cost. Where if I replace that. Yeah, that would cover everybody pretty well. That might be worth it. Replacing the firehouse with a fire full on fire station. Let's do that. So we're going to bulldoze a fire station. Yes, thank you. I know. You're cranky. You'll hold on. And we're going to have to bulldoze one of these houses. There we go. And I'll get take care of fire for much further. There we go. Yep. Yeah, we got we've got solid fire coverage. Excellent. Okay, uh, next up we're going to take a look at our crime. Crime's looking pretty well. Nobody's complaining. Yeah, we're good. All right, crime's no problem. Um, metro, how's our metro looking up here? This station has emptied out considerably. Excellent. And we've got some reds and yellows waiting to go home. Okay, those lines are doing what they need to do. Uh, population. Oh, here we go. Unemployment is 5%. Okay. The population is uh, 6134, people employed 3111, jobs available 4218, unemployment is 5%. So only 5% of my people looking for work are unemployed. So that 4218 matches my 4218 here though. So this is my number of workers to the number of jobs I have. That's what that's about. Okay. Hey, look at that. I've learned something new today. That's always helpful. Uh, 22 deaths a week, 25 births per week. But that means I should have people in my cemetery. Oh, there we go, 173 stored. Oh, I got 10 hearses in use. Let's see, where are they? Out of morbid curiosity. Hey, here's one. From the park residence, he's got a load of 40%. Busy corner shop. Okay, so I do need to make sure that death services can cover commercial. Picking up a dead person from the busy corner shop. So, it's not just residential, I'm going to have to co cover them for. That's fine. Let's see, outside connections. Right now I'm importing 1494, I'm exporting 1000. That's not horrible. My tourism is uh, 28 people a week, most of them are poor. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, we're taking a look at land value, I don't care about natural resources at the moment, unless I want to go build this forestry industry. Um, my districts are what they are. Okay, my leisure is actually pretty lousy down here. Right along the waterline over here, it ain't so slick. I don't know why I would want leisure up here in my industry and commercials, so I don't really care about that. This could be better. That could be a lot better. I'm thinking I put in another park up here. And just because I'm not going to educate them doesn't mean I can't be nice to them. Yeah, this is just uh, too, sleep, too steep a slope for that particular park. What is this? Uh, dog park. Well, that's got nice coverage. I'm almost thinking I might want to put it out here. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to put it. Putting it in, in here actually makes sense. Let's put the dog park in. And... These are terrain heights, which we don't care about. Okay. So we're going to let these build out a bit, figure out what's going on, let patterns re-establish as to what seems to be going on and where everything's going. All right. So I'm starting to get some demand up for industry. And I decided to go build out an area I called, well, that named itself Garland Park. Garland Park has some forestry in it. We're going to give it a try. I've specialized it for forestry. My primary forestry industry is going to be down in here, I believe. That's where I've actually got some points for it. So, I'm going to fill that in for the moment. However, in doing that, I'm going to need to run electric and water. Water should be simple enough. Let's pause for a second. Bring water up. 
Now electric, on the other hand, is going to be more interesting. And what I think I'm going to do is set up some walking paths first so that I can have people just walk to work from here to here if they need to. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to the walking paths. We're going to grab that. I'm going to start here. Uh, we're going to page up a bit. Okay, so that works. Drop it down. Now I'm debating on... See, that'll bulldoze. I'm wondering how how high you have to go to not have to bulldoze. So it's got to be too high. One above will bulldoze. Two above is enough. All right, well, that helps now. So we're just gonna bring this out, uh, let's say to here, and then we'll connect up to our commercial district over here. So they can walk to work. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably run from up here and over as well. Why not? That looks like it, it should be interesting. I can't quite get high enough to not need a bulldoze, so never mind. These on the upper hill need to be bulldozed. These down here wouldn't. Uh, we'll start this, and I also need to get electric in here. Forest, in case you're curious. Uh, let me go to sector specialization. Specialized in forestry to take advantage of renewable woodland. Slightly increased electric, slightly increased tax. Income required natural resource forest renewable. So, now you, can, now you know as well as I do. That would be part... Oh, hey, I hit big town. Where not I awesome? All right, so I can buy another area. Taxation policies are open, level five, and the metro is open. That's a big deal. That's something I'm going to want to play with. Uh, we can do an education boost policy. Boost the education budget, making adults automatically choose education over working. So this helps with getting people into college. Uh, increases the education budget by 25%. That's actually not a horrible one. Uh, then I've got a bunch of tax raises and lowering. Um, set the tax rate higher for low-density residential housing increases the tax rate by 2%. So what this does is it lets you adjust taxes by density uh, type. So that's kind of neat. And we're getting into the places where I haven't played yet with. I have not played with any of the high densities yet. I haven't played with the Metro or the Consideration Plan of the University. So this should be interesting. <coughs> All right, so let's pause. Now, with getting the metro, we'll come over to here, and my second tab is open. And here we have a metro station. Traveling underground at high speeds while avoiding the stress of traffic is an excellent choice when thinking mass transit in the city center. Place metro stations first, connect them with tunnels, then plan routes. Okay. Um, metro tunnel. Once I construct a metro station, I can build this. Connect metro stations to each other by metro tunnels. Remember to build the stations first. Um, and then Metro Line. Draw Metro Lines by clicking on stations. Draw the line from the departure station to the terminal station and back as a train line needs to be circular. Stations need to be connected with tunnels. Okay, seems simple enough. Um, of particular interest is our incinerator. The incineration plant's gonna cost me 30 grand, cost me 1400 a week to run, uh, 100 pollution, 50 noise pollution. Uh, so instead of just collecting garbage, why not burn it and turn it into electricity? Uh, it's not really effective for electricity. What it does is it'll let you clean out your landfills, and that's the key, is getting the landfills cleared out. So this is going to get stuck somewhere I don't, um, rather nasty. So let's say... Because I want the, um, garbage trucks for the emptying to be able to get to it relatively easy and then get home. I'm thinking if we put it over here, that should work out. So yeah, let's put that in. Uh, you need... I don't know if it needs water. I'm pretty sure it's going to need electric. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so first thing I need to do is tell this landfill to empty. And hopefully that'll get itself over here. Let's unpause for a second. Okay, it's going out to go pick up garbage, I suppose. Let's see. 
Uh, collecting garbage. Okay. Uh, so, really, I want to hook this to the grid so I get power from it versus worrying about whether it needs power. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Now, one of the things I had done over here in Garland Park, just to dit uh, distract, was if you'll notice, I've really tried to lower the number of intersections on the main drags. So up here on the main, dra uh, the main entry, there's only two major intersections. Once they turn off, there's one intersection which leads out, and here there's one here and one here for intersections. So this may become busy on me. I'm not sure. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Maybe I split this up. Uh, so I take this center piece out so they're only coming around here to go down here or something like that. And maybe I break this off so that we lower or force trucks into a uh, different pattern. So we'll have to take a look at that and decide what we're going to do with it. Uh, what else did I just get? Uh, yes, the university. The university, education for young adults. Without university, they will find jobs instead of getting more education. Education is a requirement for buildings to level up. Higher level industry requires educated workers. Only young adults can attend the university. Um, so, high density residential. Uh, attract young adults especially, so that makes sense. High density commercial. Uh, department stores and supermarkets that offer citizens a wide variety of spending possibilities. Uh, serve a large number of customers, so they're ideal for high density residential areas. And the office zone uh, offer workplaces for educated citizens. Make sure you have a university in the city to, city to provide suitable workers. Cool. Um, on our next one, we'll get tr uh, full trains, hydropower plant, things like that. Now, if we go to budget and we take a look at taxes. Okay, I can't do anything with that there, so it must be a policy. Here we go, taxation policies. Um, I can raise or lower uh, tax rates based on density. Okay. So tax raising and tax relief. That makes sense. Oops. Okay. Uh, looks like we, uh, looks like I missed a water area. No, I didn't. Um, I don't have enough water coming in. All right, let's uh, deal with that immediately. Let's deal with that immediately. Water is too big of a deal. And we will put in another sewage dump because screw the fish. We don't need no stinking fish. All right, that sounded better in my head than after I just did that, so I may edit that. Okay, that should clean up our water problem there. When I was thinking about building the commercial area, I was thinking about building it as a um, high density commercial, high density commercial zone just off of this area down in here. So I may still do that, but the next thing I wanna play with is the Metro. Now, a metro station cost me 15000 so it's 30000 just to build the metros. And it's going to cost me 100 bucks a cell to connect them up. So I may not have enough money immediately to go deal with that. Hey, I'm up to eighty-three grand. let us play with the metro. Uh, let's take a look at traffic for a second. Okay, so we have tons of traffic coming in. Let's see, what do we got going on down here? These are a lot of cars. Not... I don't think this is too horrible. Let's see how much of this line can actually offload once this opens up. Um, hello, I need a street light. I would have expected them to be able to go at the same time the other side did. Oh wow, that's backing up onto the highway. Yes, I did notice. Okay, so I don't have enough staging area here. That's going to become a problem uh, eventually. So here's what we're gonna do. On roads, six lane, one way. I'm going to upgrade this. Yes, I know I can do that. Let's take a look at traffic again. 
So now they should spread out a bunch coming in. Okay, lots of people wanting to go straight. Only a couple are making the left. But this should help out tremendously with getting load off this. Yeah, there we go. That's working nicely. Okay, so that's getting that stack to clear. That should help out down there for a while. And they'll pile up in here, but that's because this zone just isn't built well. All right, so we've cleared up some of that problem. I want to put in the metro. Let's build a metro station. The building must be placed at a roadside. Okay. Let's think. Let me think this through for a second. Is add a stop there. Now, with the green line having a stop there, building a metro line here makes sense. So let's see, where do I want to build it? That'll work. Okay, now I want to build a metro line way out here. Now I wanted to create a basically a bus depot area I was thinking about doing for this. But if I just build it here. Okay, so here's our metro station. Now, for tunnels... It cost me 1800 to build that tunnel. That's not horrible. I'd like to look a little neater, though. Okay, so I figured out one of the things I was doing wrong with the roads. If I really want to get a short curve, I build short... and then bend it, like so. If I want to get a nice long, long one, I kind of do that. Uh, literally straight over thank you over there okay now we're going to build a route i create a new line and complete the line okay so we've added bus um metros i was hoping to see a train oh here we go here's a train uh can handle 180 passengers a lines overview. Let's go to Metro. Two stops, two vehicles. All right. This may not be working out as I had hoped. Uh, now that I think about it, not being near the residentials. Oh, here we go. Okay, we've got a swarm of people coming in. So a lot of my people over here who want to go to the commercial or industry over there. Yep. So my walking path is swarming. So here's a bunch of people waiting to get on the train. Okay, neat. Okay, this needs water. That's good to know. Looking at my forestry industry, just because it's light green doesn't mean they won't grow. Awesome. Okay, that will help. I'm getting some decent demand for residential again. So it looks like I'm going to uh, road up another residential up here in Fairview. Okay, I think I figured out where I want to build everything. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to build off from here, like a nice tree-lined road. Oh, I don't want to upgrade. Go straight. I'm going to bring it up towards here. And I'm going to bring this out. It has to go up a little more. And create a proper intersection way there. We'll knock that out. And what I'll do is, is I'll use this area in here as my high density commercial and I'll build my university zone over here. So let's start with some basics. I still cannot build a university. I don't have enough money. So that's the first thing I actually want to get down is a university. And one other thing I've done is, is I stopped emptying this landfill site. Capacity is 8 million for each landfill. I don't have a very strong incineration base yet. My incinerator can hold up to 400,000. It only processes 48,000 per week. But take a look at garbage. My garbage production is 161,000 per week. 
I'm going to need at least three more incinerators going. So why don't we get that done? This gives me a fighting chance to start catching up on garbage and getting rid of these lanterns. Well, I'm still trying to get that commercial and young adult district built up, but I wanted to show this to you guys. This main drag I built down here has become horrid. Between commuters coming off the highway to come into here and all of the trucking that needs to happen down in this area, it's become a miserable mess. I've got walking paths that I showed you that I built across. They're not getting used to heavily, but this one over to the Metro is flooded. So the Metro has definitely gone to work. I saw it doing so much work that I felt the need to put up another uh, local bus line, try and take some of the weight off of the green line because it was just building up way too many people. So with this extra bus line, this bus line just kind of loops on the inner side and hopefully that'll take some of the weight off to get down into these commercial areas and over here um, towards the industrial zones. Uh, all of my RCI is going up, so that's good. If they're going to go up at all, I'd like them to go up together. Yeah, hello cows. So Mary's livestock, they're putting that out. But that seems, uh, that extra bus line seems to have taken a lot of the weight off of the weight for these guys. I'm no longer getting as bad of a cluster of people that are sitting here when we take a look at this I'm getting 104 per week in citizens on the metro so that's starting to work out this metro here just loaded up to 69 passengers so that's pretty solid that's starting to get uh, people moving and I've got some people who are just walking where they want to go too so between the three of them that's helping out I'm still building up cash flow Ran into uh, some build-out concerns. Uh, I want to take a look at Pop. Uh, my unemployment's still at 3%, so that's solid. The landfill I'm trying to empty is at 22% full, and it's got 15 trucks in use trying to empty out the buildings. Uh, these, are, these all have reserves in them, so none of them are being ignored one thing to notice is you notice how out here the pollution is destroying things this used to be a grassy area the pollution is absolutely obliterating it so if I had any natural resources in there they'd be gone I think luckily I pushed this off just enough but I'll have to watch it I certainly don't want to just keep loading these in randomly I hadn't realized it was going to do that at first, but now I know, so it's worth paying attention to. Electric is at uh, 164 of 211. I've got some variability in there that needs to be controlled. Water is getting close to 300 of 360, so I'll need to watch for that, but whatever. Yes, I know, I would, oh, I can build the university finally. I finally have enough. So building the university, I'm trying to, I've am trying been trying to debate whether I want to bring the university off the main, main drag here or if I want to leave it on the main drag. I've been thinking I may leave it on the main drag just to um, keep load down for those people who aren't uh, part of the university's uh, heavily zoned residential areas. The other reason I've been thinking about it is to keep people off this street so I don't have a problem and maybe put it just one layer in. I think that's actually what I'm gonna do with it. And off that, what we'll do is we'll build it in here. And let's see how much area that can take care of. That goes out to about the highway. So it's not getting out into Fairview Square. Okay, we've built it. And you know what? I've been wondering if I can build gravel up. No, okay, so gravel has to be ground level. Yeah, I guess that's obvious in hindsight. Okay, so we're going to zone in. Some high density commercial. I want to zone it, let's say here. And we're gonna zone in. Some high density residential. here 
You know, I don't think we need that. I guess it doesn't really matter. So there we go. That's some high density uh, residential, a little bit of high density commercial. I want to leave that open so I can build across here. And we'll see how that builds out. Now the university can handle 4,500 students. They've got 119 at the moment. These guys, okay, this first building going up, connected up my electric, thank you. Let's see, multimedia center, high density commercial building. This next one, uh, buy it all shop. <coughs> all right, so we're gonna start getting some people in there. I'm starting to think I should probably, you know, this actually isn't a bad walking path there. So here we got Mulberry residence, the Willow residence, the Briarwood. Uh, let's see, this could hold seven households right out of the gate. Not bad. That's holding six. So here we go. Something I forgot to do though was check out if I have enough fire coverage over here, and I don't. So I'm thinking I'm going to need a firehouse down here in the middle of my, you know, forest area. Let's see. Okay, that one looks like it'll cover all the way to the back corner on the bottom right. Up here loses it. So we'll put the fire company in there. I wonder if I can leave that little bit of gap. I wonder if that's going to matter. I wonder if as long as the building is touching water. Yeah, okay. So I'm gap it slightly. Ooh, we have crime. Okay, we need police. Now, out of curiosity, let's say I click on this. It's supposed to be attracting young adults. Adults, and I'm getting mostly adults and teens and seniors. So that's kind of curious. The university isn't quite attracting the uh, young adults I was hoping to find over here. So we'll see how things work out there. All right, let's go take a look at traffic because that's usually the problem. Okay, we've got a lot of traffic coming through here. That was to be expected. We're running into a worker shortage. How's our traffic snarls looking? Wow, look at this. Look at this jam up. Look at this. What a mess. I don't know if a truck was just delivering right here or what, but wow. That was horrifying. That was horrible. Somewhat hysterical, but horrible. I am half tempted to put a raised road, say, off of here, bump it up, and run it all the way down here, maybe? I don't even know. Look at this line of traffic trying to come into town uh, from the north. Oh, wow. Okay. I think my next episode is going to have to be about cleaning up traffic snarls. Um, I have a feeling we'll be bulldozing a chunk of the old city and getting this cleaned up because just, wow. I don't even know what to say to this. I have some ideas on how to do it, though, but I think this is going to be a great place to end the episode. So, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and we will play with traffic.